Hello everyone. Thanks for coming outside with me today. A real quick video today on uh, on frost seeding. A lot of studies uh, besides wildlife habitat studies. There's a lot of studies in terms of uh, frost seeding. That's a little bit better camera light. Uh, frost seeding for um, agriculture land, so for uh, pasture grazing and what you should plant, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And does it really affect? You know, is it really useful? And does it really affect your, you know, your yield and your ability to use a field instead of letting it go fallow? Um, and it's been very positive. You know, some people, uh, some of the studies that I was reading, I think from Michigan State, um, you're getting 60 to 70 percent uh, uh, germination rate and therefore use of the crop. And so one of the things that I like to do and I started doing predominantly this year is frost seeding and uh, frost seeding trails. Actually, have a lot of ash and elm that were killed off with the uh, emerald ash borer and the elm disease that came through several years ago here in central PA. And uh, so we have a lot of open spots in the canopy. And of course, I came through a couple years ago and felled a lot of uh, trees to make this trail so we could circumnavigate the property. A lot of weeds and stuff growing on it already. You can probably kind of see down in here. It comes up rather easily, but. Um, you know, right now it's uh, it's the beginning of March. Deer and the turkeys didn't really touch it much last year, so it's clearly a deciduous plant that they're not wild about. And so I decided to come through here and give it a good shot with frost seeding, going around the whole thing where we have a lot of open spots, get some germination. Hopefully we can have some uh, turkeys coming in here in the spring. What I did yesterday, as you might notice, I'll show you this. So here we have what I came through yesterday. I just took a rake, just a standard garden rake, and I just kind of roughed this up, you know, just to get this leaf duff completely off you know off the ground because it's pretty well seeded because if you go you know right off the path you can see here just complete leaf duff right you're gonna get a seed it's gonna land here it's gonna land here it's gonna land there you know so you gotta kind of you want to kind of work this just a little bit I don't even mean remove it it doesn't need to be completely bare earth but just to fluff it up you know, because a tiny little clover seed, which is what I'm using here today, a tiny little clover seed is going to fall right through here, get good seed to soil contact. These leaves will act as a mulch and keep the uh, birds from getting at it and uh, keep uh, rain from washing it off. It'll act as a mulch and uh, a rain retardant because we're projected to get rain here in actually next couple of days. It's starting to warm up. A couple more freezing and thawing days potentially allow that seed to work itself into the soil. Planted this with a uh, really junky, uh, you know, no-till food plot stuff is at my local tractor supply. I used it last year to try to plant like a little hidey hole food plot. It was a mixture of clover and ryegrass, and I knew the ryegrass was, A, it's not good uh, for wildlife in terms of digestibility, but B, it was going to take over everything, and it did. Uh, some brassicas came up, some clo clover came up, and then eventually the ryegrass just killed it off. But I had green in there, and that's I had lots of pictures of deer coming in there in the late season. Um, this isn't a very big property, and the ryegrass, I mean, that soil, I think, is about a 5.1 acidity level. <laughs> and uh, so nothing grows there in terms of uh, nice, palatable deer food. So I planted that same exact plant because I had a whole bunch of it left over right here on this trail because I don't care if ryegrass grows here because we're going to get bugs in here. Turkey poults will come through. The deer want to nip on it while they're nipping on some clover as well. That'll work. The soil up here is a little less clay-like. It's an actual more soil. Uh, so it might take off. It might not. We'll see here uh, coming up uh, during turkey season. Like I said, it's the first week of March, so we still have a ways yet. That's all for me today. I hope you're able to get outside and... Uh, Enjoy God's beautiful creation, enjoy the sport of hunting, and uh, enjoy the activity of frost seeding if you really want to. And uh, we'll get to see you next time.